everybody. I'm doing a session for a client. I'm going to read the goals here and get tuned in. I will say I've read your goals and there's a lot of intense energy and I don't know what it means yet, but we will find out. So I'm just going to read out loud for everybody. I want to know which beings abducted me when I tried DMT for the first time. There, there's an unresolved, massive unresolved situation here. There's so much unresolved energy. So I'm just relaxing everything down so we can actually take a look and find out what this is all about. <sighs> okay. There's a lot of anger. <laughs> There's like the head is exploding. There's a hole um, at the top of the head. Um, and there's a white light that I see um, that's coming out of this hole. And nothing is, um, anything, nothing about this is, is a healthy balance, I'll just say, okay? Yeah. It's almost like you were trying to kill yourself. I, I, after I say that there's a lot of emotional response here behind the eyes. I, it keeps echoing, I, I, I mean, deep down inside, I don't know what your conscious intentions were, but beneath the surface of that, it's like you're trying to exit this life, exit this reality. And you actually, there's a lot of leftover echo going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand in your feet. There's all kinds of release happening here. What I'm going to do is just create a solid balance, vibrational solid balance. I mean, it's like I'm standing in the middle of a cyclone of energy and chaos <laughs> and suffering and screaming and everything, okay? So it's hard to really know. Was, was this an astral abduction? Was this a physical abduction? Was this... A hallucination was this you know so it's hard to know um, answers to all the various perspectives because um, we got to look at this um, for what it is okay so when I step into this question I step into all of this unresolved extreme chaos energy and suffering and screaming there's a um, the tip of my nose is, is turning red um, and I feel like a lot of energy here and my heart is starting to get like uh, really overwhelmed. Again, I feel like I'm going through a huge surge um, and I'm going to blow up from the inside out. <sighs> Throat is really jammed up. I feel like I'm going to vomit. I feel like I'm getting really, really dizzy. I'm going to puke. Again, I'm just choosing to, we are strong. We're going to stand on the ground. This is something that isn't associated with your energy field. This is something outside. Instead of this just running amok in here, we're just moving this outside. So you can be you and this can be whatever this is. vomit. I feel like I'm going to puke. My solar plexus is going crazy. My throat's going crazy. The back of my head. I feel like a tomato that just blew up um, again in the head. I'm removing this energy from you. I'm moving it out there. We're just going to keep standing here. Man, this is a lot. 
this is still active in your energy field. <laughs> this just goes to show that time is all times. <laughs> so this is unresolved, an unresolved event, majorly unresolved event that is still this extremely loud going on in your energy field. That there's a lot of nasty energy here. And again, there's this undertones of I want to die. Um, there's a lot of... Okay, how do I want to put this? <sighs> Whatever you manifested, because you chose this experience, you wanted to follow this all the way through. It's all very nasty, okay? It wasn't a healthy thing. Like it wasn't going to help you grow in the way that um, feels like you're in heaven. It's going to help you grow in the way that you're going to be destroyed. Okay? And in a way you wanted to be destroyed. And maybe you didn't hear at the conscious level, but beneath the surface you did. It's just like, who, who actually wants to go to hell when you could go to heaven? And all you have to do is just want that for yourself. And then surround yourself with that positive energy and life gets better. But how is life going to get better if you just surround yourself in hell? Doing things that are going to damage you, break you, poison you. It's just It's going to destroy you. How is that going to create actual heaven? Because what you want deep down inside is a beautiful life. A beautiful life. Those alien beings, whatever this energy is, I wouldn't even define it as alien beings. I would define it more as entities and a bunch of crap. <laughs> um, I wouldn't even, it's almost like don't even hold them on any type of pedestal because you're what you are in this universe has so much beautiful light and so much to give and so much to receive even on the level that you can give. Um, and this is just like, this is a, this is not calling in the, the angelic realm here to nurture you. You're feeling a lot better, just so you know. You're feeling like you might even wake up tomorrow and feel like a new person, okay? I'm going to ask you if you're okay with this message. <sighs> We're having a conversation without language and it's very quiet. And you're speaking to me with your eyes. There's still like a smear of, of that energy just smeared behind your eyes. And I say, do you want that? Let it go. Just simply let it go. I feel like what, what is being offered here is an opportunity to decide. I, I would definitely, um, I don't feel like, I mean, I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I would definitely encourage you to choose to have like a hot tea instead of um, DMT because that, it almost seems like that was going to kill you. And maybe it wasn't, but your internal self was calling for um, suffering, calling suffering to you. And you you got to be careful okay cuz that's not what you actually want that's just the pain talking and so you need to get real with what it is that you want in this life okay and i would just say i feel complete with this dmt thing and i'm going to let all that stuff go to the light of all 
I feel like I learned the lesson that I needed to learn from this, which is all about self-love. And I'm thankful for every entity and every moment of the experience because I learned so much from it. I have grown so much from it. I mean, you're shaking like, like, like real scared, okay? Like, come. Um, I'm just, I'm literally just becoming a blanket and just wrapping around you and just holding you and helping you to just feel nurtured. Letting all of that go it has nothing to do with you anymore. Nothing to do with you anymore because that lesson's learned. That's over. It's done. We just send everything back. There's still, um, there's still energy circulating here about this. However, this is a really good, this is a really good achievement, okay? for what we've experienced today. <sighs> You're still shaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to a really nice environment where it's warm. Um, and it's just you. No other DMT memory or anything of that energy has any access to you because it's just simply you. Okay? And it's warm, and there's lots of beings of just love here. And it's whatever you want to experience that is very positive and high vibe in order to nurture um, these aspects of yourself. Even still, I feel kind of like shaky. That was a lot. That was really traumatizing. That was really hard. That, that all that comes from such a loud noise, it's an insanely loud noise, and you can just, none of that, we just send that away, okay? All this stuff is energy. You decide what you want in your life, okay? Sometimes we, we have power here in the mind, right? Um, but we have other aspects of ourself that have um, inspirations too. So we have to keep working on loving and healing and nurturing ourselves as often as we can and asking, um, is this the choice that is going to create more heaven in my life? Obviously, we, we need experiences that challenge us, that expand our horizons and our perceptions of things. And sometimes those can put us in difficult situations. Um, that's how we learn and grow, right? Um, um, but be gentle on yourself, okay? That will attract more gentle experiences, and it feels like you need some time to really heal. And it may not just be this DMT thing, it may be other things. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much for this experience, and thank you for sharing with others. Um, for those watching, if you're interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I have two other YouTube channels, so you can check me out at Abby Normal and Zodiac Energy Readings. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right, everybody, thank you again for watching and have a great rest of your day.